Hello, my name's Christopher, and today I'm going to show you how to install Link Warden on CostOS using Bigger CostOS, the third-party app store. So, this was a user suggestion for to add Link Warden to Bigger CostOS. So, uh, th uh, thank you. And if you have any suggestions, you can suggest them on Big Bear Community. So, uh, a little bit about this series. I'm going over Home Lab, so installing things, getting things set up, everything like that. So, if you're interested in that, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And let's get started. I wanted to let y'all know about the Big Bear community. We just launched a uh, community on community.bigbeartechworld.com. It's based on Discourse. So go on there, join it, and uh, say hi. So let's get back to your registered programming. So this is what we'll be installing today, uh, Link Warden. It's a self-hosted cl collaborative uh, bookmark manager to collect, organize, and preserve web pages and articles. Um, uh, here's what it looks like. It's got a clean interface to it. Organize collected links, co compact links, a list view, a viewer collections, ta uh, ta a team management, a readable view, a m multiple formats to archive, share your collections with the world, and customizable themes. So here's all the features. So that's what we'll be getting to installing today. So I'm going to be starting on Big Bear Cost OS. There will be a link down in the YouTube description to get to this. And uh, it, uh, this is a third party app store that's maintained by Big Bear Tech World and the Big Bear community. Um, there's the app store URL. And then here's all the apps that you can install from Big Bear Cost OS. And then I did make a how to install Big Bear Cost OS on Cost OS video, but I'm going to be going over in this video as well. The custom app stores are only supported on Cost OS version 0.4.4 or newer. So I'm going to scroll up to App Store URL right here. I'm going to copy it. Then I'm going to go over to my Cost OS and get it set up. So I'm going to start on my Cost OS. I'm going to go to App Store. And then I'm going to go to more apps over here. And then a text to input pops out. I'm going to paste in the URL that I copied over in Big Bear Cost OS. Then I'm going to say add. Click it. Then now once you clicked it and it's installed, uh, it shows 162 apps. You might have more by the time you're looking at this video. But I'm going to refresh the page. Go back in the app store. Go to categories over here. And then now you'll see Big Bear Cost OS. So you can click it. And now you can find all the apps in Big Bear Cost OS that you can one click install. So I'm going to start on Big Bear Cost OS. There will be a link down in the YouTube description to get to this. Then I'm going to go over to search right here. I'm going to type link. And then I'm going to go to apps link warden. And then now I'm going to go to the Docker and Pose. So the, uh, the Cost OS app name is called Big Bear Link Warden. I'm going to set services, and then the first service underneath the services is called Link Warden. And then the container name is going to be called Big Bear Link Warden. And then the image is coming off GitHub because of the URL right here. And then this is the Docker image. And then this is the Docker image tag. Restart unless stop. So that means if you stop it for any reason, it will not try to restart. But if it fails or any other reason, then it will try to restart. And then I'm going to set volumes, so data, app data, dynamic variable, which is the app ID, uh, which is gotten from the name up here. And then data, a link warden. And then on the container is data, data. So this is on the host side, and then this is on the container side. Do not change the container side. And then the environment variables right here, so the database URL, next auth secret, the next auth URL, the next public disable registration. And then I'm going to set ports. So 3000 is on the host. 3000 is on the container. If this does collide with another port on your host, you can change it. Uh, but do not change the container's port. And then I'm going to put it in a network. So link word in network. It's defined down in the bottom. And then I'm going to set some cost to specific information to explain the volumes and the ports. And then I'm going to set a Postgres da 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 database service. And then the Link Warden DB right here is a service name. The container name is going to be called Big Bear Link Warden DB. And then the image is coming off of Docker Hub by default. And then it's Postgres. 
um, restart unless stop. So that means if you stop it for a reason, it will not try to restart. But if it fails for any other reason, then it will try to restart. And then I'm going to set environment variables. So the Postgres user is cost OS. The Postgres password is cost OS password. And the po Postgres DB is Big Bear a link warden. So this is the first database that's created. This is the password. This is the user. You cannot change these credentials once the container has been created. So you will need to change it on the DB. Um, so the volumes are data, app data, dynamic variable, which is gotten from the name up there, and then data, and then Postgres. This is on the host side, and then this is on the container side right here, var, lib, Postgres, QL, and then data. Then now I'm going to set it in a network, so link warden a network. And then I'm going to set some cause of specific information to explain the environment variables and the volumes. And then now this is where I define the network. Uh, the networks and then link warden and then the driver's bridge and then now I'm going to explain the app on the app store so the architectures that the docker image supports up here is AMD 64 and ARM 64 the, the main is set to link warden and that rhymes with the service up here underneath the services the, 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 the link warden service right here is the main service and then the description, the tagline, and then the developer, the author of the Docker and Pose, the icon, and then thumbnail, and then the title, and then the category. So you can find all the bigger cost OS apps with uh, going to this category right here and seeing them all. And then the port map is 3000, and that's going to the host port of 3000 right here on the link warden ser service. So... That's a little bit about the Docker and Pose. So I wanted to let you know uh, about the Big Bear Club. Uh, 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 you can join it, and it greatly supports this channel, and I very much appreciate it. So uh, if you'd like to join the Big Bear Club, you can go down the YouTube description and uh, go to my Ko-Fi link and join it from there. So let's get back to registered programming. So now I'm going to go ahead and install Link Warden. So I'm going to go to App Store right here, and then I'm going to uh, go to the search, type Link, and then here you go right here. And you know it's coming from Big Bear Cost OS because of this down here, the name of the category. And then I'm going to say go into it and then press install. Now, what this is doing is it's downloading the Docker images off the registries, getting them extracted, and getting them up with Docker imposed underneath because this does use the Docker engine underneath. So this could take a little bit to install. So now we got it successfully installed and we got it up and running. So now I'm going to uh, go over the container options. So um, you can uh, go up to this vertical dots right here and you can open, you can set tips and then you can go to this edit button right here and then you can uh, type in here testing and then save. Then now it re will reload the container in the background. A link warden is okay. So I'm going to go back into tips now. So you can see it did save. It's kind of like a notepad. And then you can go into settings and you can change some of these. And then um, you can press save down here. You can also go up to the terminal logs. You can go into the container right here. You can also see the logs. Great for debugging. You can export the Docker and pose right here. You can exit out of here. Um, you can check for updates. And then you can uninstall, restart, and power off and on. So the check for updates will check the uh, current tag. It won't change anything to do in the Docker and Pose unless it's getting it from the app stores. Um, so that's a little bit about the container options in Cost OS. So now I'm going to go into the UI. So you can open it from here or you can open it from here too. So now we're in the sign in. So I'm going to sign up. I'm going to put credentials in to get it signed up. Then now once you do that, your display name, username, and password, and confirm the password. I'm going to sign up. So now we can sign in. And then now we're going to log in. So now you're into the UI. So you can add a URL down here. 
And then now you can put in a collection if you have one. You can see more options. And then you can you can tag it too. You can put a description in. So I'm going to create a link. And then now you can see it's in unorganized. You can go over to the collections right here. And then you can put a collection in. You can put a description. And you can change the color. So now you can go back into your all links. You can go to... Uh, the edit link right here and you can change the collection. There we go. Now, and now it's in this collection um, You can see the pins So if you go over here and you pin to dashboard now you can see all your pins You can go and see the uh, the link uh, details like the description You can edit the collection info sh share collaborate and delete the collection and then um, we can edit the link like we just done. We can prefer, uh, pr pr preserved fo formats. So screenshot, PDF, and then uh, readable. And then we can refresh. Um, you can see the date. You can also delete this. Um, you can go up to the plus button. You can add a new link. You can add a new collection really easy. You can go up to your user and you can go to settings. And then um, you can have all the, all the, the, those settings. You can go to light mode and dark mode, the archive, and then an API key, and then change your password. So I'm going to go backwards. So now you can also put in a tag. So if you go into here, edit link, and then you put a tag in, you can just say testing. Now, now you have a tag over here, and you can see all the links in that tag. You can go up to search and you can search for, for, for links. There we go. You can filter and then uh, the sort. You can also change it to a list view and a card view. So that's a little bit about the Link Warden UI. So I just went over step-by-step step on getting Link Warden working on Cost OS using Bember Cost OS third-party app store. So if you like this tutorial, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And if you have any video suggestions or you need community support, you can go out in the Big Bear community and join our forum. There's a link in the YouTube description. So stay tuned for more.